I know what you are. Your skin is green. You have bolts in your neck. You freak out or I'm fire. Say it out loud. Frankenstein. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 SNL movie trailer parodies we wish were real. Like it or not, we're part of the game. Me, you, and all our forest friends. I ain't got friends. For this list, we'll be looking at the most creative and overall funniest trailer parodies to air during Saturday Night Live. Which of these trailer parodies do you most wish was real? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Bajancy We know that people love Beyoncé, but there are some people who really love Beyoncé to the point where anything short of glowing praise can be taken as an insult. You guys, I cannot stop listening to that Beyoncé album. Oh my god, yes, I am obsessed. Everything she does is perfect. That kind of intense fandom is the target of this horror trailer spoof. Andrew Garfield plays a man who finds himself a target after he makes a comment indicating that he doesn't worship the ground Beyonce walks on. She is she's so good. I'm not a huge fan of that one drunken love song, though. What? While he stresses that he still enjoys her music, it's not enough to let him off the hook. With a committed performance from Garfield and hilarious appearances from SNL cast members, as well as 24 stars Kiefer Sutherland and Mary Lynn Rice Cub, we're crazy in love with this trailer. Everything you need is in a box to the left. Where? To the left. To the left. Oh. Is that a Beyonce song? Yeah. yeah. The only oh good one. Number nine, the group Hopper. The success of The Hunger Games brought about other adaptations of dystopian YA fiction, like Divergent and The Maze Runner. Saturday Night Live couldn't resist giving their take on the trend. What is this place? It looks post-apocalyptic or something. The Meadow Fields. This is where the same you stay until the groupers pass them on to the sorties for sorting. What's over those walls? Oh, nothing much except the death fires. The group Hopper not so subtly points out the many tropes of the genre. Pete Davidson plays the hero, literally named the hero, who's going to lead his fellow downtrodden to glory. When I grow up, I want to be a freelander. But you can't. You were born a circumscriber, and you always will be. But what if I wasn't? You're right. You're not. And I love you. Even if you love the books and movies it's mocking, you have to admire this trailer for how well it dissects their many cliches. And the effort put into host Bill Hader's hair and makeup deserves at least one full length movie. Bring me the one they call Fero, dead or alive. But preferably alive, we don't want another PR disaster, right? Number 8 The Apocalypse. In the early 2010s, Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve used popular holidays as a backdrop for various stories involving A-list actors. Wow, it's almost that magical moment. So who are you gonna kiss tonight? You know me. I'm not really into that whole romance thing. SNL took that premise a few steps further with The Apocalypse, a fake trailer starring celebrities like Drew Barrymore, Ashton Kutcher, and Christina Aguilera, as well as the impending end of the world. The best thing about the New Year's Eve sequel trailer is how it's clearly more about selling you on the star power than the ridiculous premise. Starring literally thousands of your favorite celebrities, like Al Roker and Christina Aguilera. The forecast says it's going to be the end of the world, but I say we'll be together forever. That's what's happening. This neck of the woods. We also get to see Bill Hader's pitch perfect Alan Alda impression and Kristen Wiig's take on both Drew Barrymore and Kim Cattrall. We don't know if we could ever sit through the movies it's spoofing again, but this trailer is an end of the world delight. The apocalypse may destroy the earth, but the one thing that it can't destroy is. The Valentine's Day. Number 7 Bambi At this point, it seems like Disney will remake any of their animated classics, and a photorealistic take on Bambi is actually in the works. However, we don't think it will be anywhere as audacious as this. 
Who the hell are you? A baby. In this trailer, Dwayne Johnson plays an adult Bambi, out for revenge against the hunters that took his mother from him. Joining him are the lovable woodland characters of the original film, played by Johnson's fast and furious co-stars, like Vin Diesel, Tyrese Gibson, and Michelle Rodriguez. Why do they call you Thumper? Because I'm always thumping. <laughs> you always what? I'm always thumping. Yeah, yeah, it's always something, huh? No, I'm always normal. There is no good reason to mash up Bambi and the Fast and the Furious, but this trailer does it so well, we don't have any complaints about it. What's the matter? Never seen a deer in the headlights. Number six, brutal marriage movie. Did you skip Marriage Story because it just looked a little too depressing? Well, this trailer parody will give you a pretty good idea of what that and other marital crisis dramas are like. Brutal Marriage Movie, featuring two actors who fully expect Oscars. Really chewing on it. I mean, really chewing. <laughs> Cut for time, this trailer stars Rami Malek and Heidi Gardner as a married couple who have fallen out of love. But rather than end things maturely, they instead prolong their misery. My life is here. And my life is there. So, break up? No, no, we just want to fight a little more until we fall in love again. This trailer does a great job of portraying the intense shouting matches and crying common in these kinds of movies. And Malik and Gardner make a great dysfunctional couple. This trailer may not be wedding bliss, but it sure is funny. And they're crying again. <laughs> Brutal marriage movie. Just get a divorce. Number five, don't you go round and round to Rero. Have you ever seen a movie that you desperately need subtitles for, despite it being in English? Do you really feel that you're rehabilitated, Mr. Donovan? Yeah, that's right. Then you'll be cracking up at this trailer, which spoofs British crime thrillers and the unique accents of their cast. If you don't do what we say, it's a lot easier to do with no you. Don't let corner it's not a secret! Bill Hader stars as an Englishman trying to go straight after leaving prison, but who finds himself back in a life of crime. But this trailer is mostly about the hard-to-pass accents common in these kinds of films, with British host Russell Brand poking fun as well. Comes the toughest, grittiest, most British crime drama of the year. Don't go round round me, Ro. Don't you go round and round to re -ro. We're not quite sure what they're saying, but we know exactly what they're going for. Number four, give us all our daughters back. Box office hits like Taken and The Expendables showed that actors well past middle age could still be convincing action heroes. And this trailer parody is a perfect send-up of these absurd premises. But those are the children of the most ruthless CIA assassins in the world! Then get ready for all your favorite revenge movie action stars combining forces in Give Us All Our Daughters Back. When all of their children are kidnapped, some determined CIA operatives spring into action with predictably violent results. Among the aging action stars spoofed in this cast are Liam Neeson, Denzel Washington, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've got to get out of here. I've got to say my son, not that son, the one in this movie. Oh, I'm so sorry, Maria. Buy my book. There are plenty of explosions, gunfires, and angry phone calls delivered with impossibly husky voices. We don't know if we find these guys intimidating, but they're definitely amusing. Give us all our daughters back. Come on, you'd see it. Number three, Jesus Uncrossed. Quentin Tarantino movies are pretty easy to identify. While the acclaimed director didn't make this trailer parody, we think he'd appreciate the efforts. Guess who's back? <laughs> Jesus uncrossed. He's risen from the dead. Did you miss me? Like Inglorious Bastards and Django Unchained, this is a revenge story as historical revisionism, with frequent Tarantino collaborator Christoph Waltz playing Jesus Christ. 
Also in the cast are stars like Brad Pitt, Ving Rhames, and of course, Samuel L. Jackson. Jesus, oh f- Chill, man, chill. This trailer both spoofs and tributes the over-the-top nature of Tarantino movies, though without anywhere near their level of profanity. It might seem blasphemous to some, but we have to admit, we find it hilarious. No more Mr. Nice Jesus. Number 2. The Midnight Coterie of Sinister Intruders Another director with an unmistakable style is Wes Anderson, but he yet hasn't brought his flair for whimsy and elaborate set design into the world of horror. It's The Midnight Coterie of Sinister Intruders, starring Owen Wilson as a man in danger. Wow, what the heck? There's a bunch of crazy people standing in our yard. If he ever did, it would probably look something like this trailer, which stars one Anderson collaborator, Edward Norton, as another collaborator, Owen Wilson. There's something unusual going on next door, but it's hard to feel too intimidated when the colors are this vivid. Hey, they've sent us some kind of communique. Dear homeowner, can we kill you? The murderers. Dear murderers, no you may not. The homeowner. Anderson fans and skeptics alike are sure to love this trailer, which covers everything from his ensemble casts to his love for all things vintage. We have to protect ourselves or we'll die. Quick, let's gather all our weapons. Rock hammer, Swiss army knife, slingshot, firecracker, ship in a bottle, protractor, picture of Edith Piaf, assault rifle, little flag. This trailer might not be all that scary, but it's still an absolute scream. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Grouch Think Joker was gritty? Try this trailer, which spoofs that villain origin story by making it into one about Sesame Street's most lovable curmudgeon. You like trash so much, why don't you live in it? Why don't you fight me? Damn, Oscar, why are you such a grouch, man? David Harbour plays Oscar, a sanitation worker disillusioned with the crime and violence in his home of Sesame Street. So he decides to give in to the darkness and take refuge in refuse, becoming Oscar the Grouch. If everyone calls you trash and everyone treats you like trash, why don't you just become trash? This trailer recreates multiple iconic moments from the Joker trailer with stunning accuracy and also reimagines beloved Sesame Street characters like Ernie and Big Bird with less family friendly connotations. Wholesome? Not so much. Hilarious? Absolutely. Would you do me one favor? Would you call me the Grouch? To you by the letter R. Scram! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.